Tonight, the city of Birmingham held the first peace in the park since an officer involved shooting rocked the community this week. Good evening, I'm Jack Royer. And after those shootings, to some, peace in the park now means more than it ever did before. We begin tonight with CBS 42's Corey McGinnis, live from Legion Field, where the event just wrapped up. Corey. Yeah, Jack, you're absolutely right. That event just wrapped up about an hour ago, and the community actually showed up uh, by the dozens. But I got the chance to speak with one mother. It was her first piece in the park who says these shootings hit a sensitive spot. It does emotionally hit home. Akeem Sanders is uplifted yet heartbroken after learning about the police involved shootings over the past few days. That's why she decided to come to Peace in the Park for the first time, bringing her 12 year old son, niece, and nephew Friday evening. It's great to be able to come out, you know, to the park and just enjoy yourself among the police officers and see just a different side. In an effort to reduce crime and broaden relations between public safety officials and the community, Birmingham police have decided to hold these peace events throughout the summer. Being able to communicate with the police officers, with the parents and the children is always a plus, you know, because you have some adults that may have had a bad experience with officers, but this right here breaks down the barrier, breaks down that negative wall between the two. All of this comes after Wednesday's shooting where multiple of gunshots were fired in downtown Birmingham, severely injuring a police officer and killing a man suspected of robbing a supermarket. Police say they saw the suspect leaving the store. They attempted to stop him. That's when the suspect pulled out a handgun and opened fire. Officer Cullen Stafford was shot multiple times and is currently at UAB Hospital for treatment. A second officer suffered injuries but is expected to be okay. Police say from June to September, the number of violent crimes is significant. That's why officers are trying to bridge the gap, fostering better relationships with the community. I think it's positive. Meantime, Sanders remains optimistic that the community will continue to thrive in spite of the crime. You know, to give the kids a different outlook, something besides what they see on the news, a chance to kind of interact and get to know a police officer as a friendly face for themselves. And the next piece in the park event is scheduled for August 1st. There, they'll be given uh, school supplies. We'll live in Birmingham tonight. Corey McGinnis, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Corey, thanks. Continue.